Lindsay and I'm here at Round Prairie Branch Library on Treaty 6 territory and I'm glad that you've joined me today for a draw and tell story time. So you are welcome to grab a marker and a paper and draw along with me and we are going to get started right away. All right so this is a story that happens in December and it's a story that happens on a farm and this is a story about farmer Peterson. So in December, in Saskatchewan, it's very dark. And so Farmer Peterson decided that they would go up into their attic, way up at the top of the house, and find some lights and put along the fence and make it bright and beautiful for December to make it less dark. So Farmer Peterson went all the way up to the attic and was searching around for the lights and suddenly noticed a piece of paper that they've never noticed before in their attic. Well, on this piece of paper, there were some markings. There was a wiggly line like this, right here. And on that wiggly line, it said Willow Creek. And then there was another large blob over here. And on that blob there, it said Beaver Lake. And then there was a smaller lake over here. And there was something else on that piece of paper. Right here in the corner, there was an X. Now, Farmer Peterson looked at that piece of paper and thought it must be. Can you guess what Farmer Peterson thought it must be? Farmer Peterson thought it must be a treasure map. <gasps> oh, so exciting. So Farmer Peterson went down the attic, down out of the attic and got boots on, got a jacket on because it's cold in December and ran outside and got a shovel. Now, Farmer Peterson thought that that treasure map, I must have to dig down into the ground with a shovel. So a shovel has a great big long handle like this and then a scooping part at the end. Now draw your best scooping part if you're drawing along with me. All right, so they got their shovel and they were so excited then they realized, oh dear, that treasure map is all the way up in the attic. But oh, Farmer Peterson thought to themselves, I think that I remember, I think on the map, it said that if I go out right near the barn, uh, and dig at the corner that that is where the treasure will be. So Farmer Peterson started digging with that shovel, dig, 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 and they haven't found anything yet. Hmm. Well, suddenly Farmer Peterson didn't find anything, but they heard something and it made them a little bit nervous because it was a sound like this. Ooh. <gasps> Is that a ghost? Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm just gonna keep digging. Well, Farmer Peterson dug all the way down deep, 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 and there was no treasure. Oh, I must have remembered wrong. It must be on the other side of the barn. So they went over to the other side, the other side of the barn, and started digging again. A big, big hole. Now, as Farmer Peterson was digging that big, big hole, they heard the sound again. Ooh. <gasps> is it, is it a ghost? Well, as Farmer Peterson was digging, there were clouds up in the sky and those clouds started to move. And as those clouds started to move, Farmer Peterson looked up in the sky and saw a beautiful crescent moon. Have you ever seen one of those crescent moons up in the sky? But then Farmer Peterson heard it again. Ooh. Oh, it's a ghost. Oh, Farmer Peterson ran all the way down the side of the barn to the tool shed. And the tool shed is where all the tools are kept, hammers and screwdrivers and wrenches. Farmer Peterson found that there was a little peephole. So they looked through that peephole to see if they could see whatever ghostly creature was out there making that sound. Well, after a while, they didn't hear anything. 
and they didn't see anything. So they decided to go out of the tool shed very slowly, creeping, creeping. And then Farmer Peterson stopped to listen again. Ooh, ah, it must be the ghost. Ah, so Farmer Peterson ran back into the tool shed. Ah, oh, 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 that was scary. Well, in that tool shed, there was something that looked like this. Can you guess what it was? That's right, it's a ladder. So Farmer Peterson climbed up to the top part of the tool shed on that ladder, and there was another peephole right at the very tippy top. And so Farmer Peterson looked through that peephole again and kept watch all night. Farmer Peterson was too nervous to go outside. So when morning came, Farmer Peterson noticed that the sun was starting to come up over the horizon. The sun was coming up over the horizon and Farmer Peterson decided that it was time to get brave and run to the house. So Farmer Peterson went out of that shed and ran all the way to the house and had a nice cup of hot cocoa. And they did not turn around to see if that spooky creature was behind them. But if they would have turned around, they would have noticed that it wasn't a spooky ghost at all. What was it? Do you know? What if we turn the paper around like this? Now, do you know what the spooky creature is? Did you guess a cow? A cow kind of makes that sound, doesn't it? That's a cow. So the crescent moon, that was the cow's horns. And those two holes that Farmer Peterson was digging, well, they were the ears. And the peep holes in the tool shed, well, those were, what part of the cow are those? Yeah, those are, that's the nose of the cow. And the treasure map was the big whole body part of the cow. The shovel, the shovel was the tail. The ladder was the legs and the sun. Do you know what part of the cow that is? That's the part that the milk comes out of. So that's the end of our story. And I hope that you had fun drawing along with me if you did. If you didn't, maybe you might Try to draw the story now and see if you could remember it. All right. I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you again next time.